Hey, Mr. Reese's class, thanks for your questions. I'm gonna answer them. Hi, I'm Emily in fifth grade, and my question is, how do you create Bert? The robot was made by a team of people. That included me, the other characters in the show, Izzy and Zoe, as well as some engineers, which helped us as well. And if it's broken, that's Izzy's fault. Hi, I'm Ashley in fifth grade, and my question is, what was your first experiment? My first experiment was probably mixing baking soda and vinegar in the kitchen. It bubbles up, you can make a volcano, and it's fun. And then from there, I did more and more awesome experiments. Hi, I'm Dasha in fifth grade. And my question is, what do you do when you're not preparing one of your videos? I'm always preparing for videos or doing videos. So literally, I'm in a video right now. Hi, my name is Jose and I'm in fifth grade. And my question is, how much time does it take you to do to make a video? When we film, we have more than 100 people involved. We have directors, camera people, lighting, editors, actors, animators, and all these people work together to make these videos. After we film them, which takes months, we go into editing. And there, I work with the animators, where I'll sketch the animations to show them how I want them to look. I'll also work with the editors to make sure I can make these videos as fun as can be. For example, zoom in here, cut this part out, and make me look better there. Hi, my name is Katie, I'm in fifth grade, and my question is, what's your favorite science experiment? There are so many memorable ones, like making a cloud, making things glow, and making explosions. Also, putting leeches on my skin that suck my blood. But if I had to choose just one, I would have to go with explosions. Hi, I'm Lorenzo in fifth grade, and my question is, have you ever failed a science experiment? Absolutely, I fail all the time. Here are some bloopers. And the periodic table also tells us the number of elantima. Because rocks are awesome. Mercury would be 13 meters away from the sun. In science, it's totally normal to fail. In fact, I won exactly zero science fairs in my whole life. So it's okay, you just have to keep trying, and along the way, you'll discover some really cool things. Hi, I'm Martina in fifth grade, and my question is, which was your hardest experiment? The hardest experiment was making a tornado inside. We had to have so many fans at just the right angles and just the right speed and we tried for hours to get the tornado to form. And it happened for just a few minutes, we caught on camera. Don't try it at home, everything in your room will blow all over the place. Hi, I am Talia and I am in fifth grade. And my question is, what is your favorite video? This is a hard one, because if you want to say which one is the most fun, I would say chemical versus physical changes. It was one of the first few episodes we made and it has explosions and all kinds of cool experiments. But I like a challenge, and it's easy to make a cool video when you're blowing stuff up. That's why I am most proud of the most boring topics. For example, water quality and distribution. How do you make that fun? It's just, it, it's just water in a cup. How, how do you make this fun? Well, we did. I'm really proud of that video. The topic is not the most fun, but I made it fun, and I'm really proud of that. Hi. I'm Tyler, I'm in fifth grade, and my question is, what do you like to do for fun? I really like dancing. Before I was Dr. Jeff, I had millions of YouTube views for dancing, and that started in high school. Here's an embarrassing video of me dancing in high school. That guy is so cool. I also like scuba diving and exploring the world under the ocean. And when it comes to sports, I used to play ice hockey in high school, but I wasn't very good. Hi, my name is Ezra and I'm in fifth grade. My question is, how did you find your interest in science? Hi, I'm in my fifth grade. And my question is, what inspired you to be a scientist? I found my interest in science at an early age. I first liked animals and bugs, and I would catch them and look at them. I then started liking robots, and then mixing things in the kitchen, and finally in the garage. In fact, after that, I would do research in high school at the local university, Rutgers University in New Jersey, 
And then I went to college to study biochemistry and then graduate school to study more biochemistry. That's why they call me Dr. Jeff. Hello, my name is Lauren, I'm in fifth grade, and my question is, when you make your videos, do you have a script? We do. To make a script, I first work with teachers to understand what we need to teach. I then decide on the experiments. I pick the experiments and how I will explain those topics to you. Then I work with writers who will turn it into a script. And then I edit that script to finalize it. So we make sure that we can explain it in the right way we use a script. Otherwise, I would just keep talking on and on about science, about my gloves, about my lab coat, and everything around me, and I just wouldn't stop, so I need a script to Hi, I'm Melanie in fifth grade, and my question is how old were you when you started science? My love for science started in elementary school, but I was a normal kid. I also loved playing sports, like ice hockey and baseball. But more than all of that, I loved science because it could explain the world around me. And that's why I chose to study science when I went to college, and then even more science after that until I became Dr. Jeff. And today, my mission is to share this passion for science with as many kids as I can through Generation Genius and now Science Kits. Hi, I'm Nailea in fifth grade, and my question is, why does carbon dioxide have gas? Carbon dioxide is a type of gas. The air around us is a mixture of different gases. For example, oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, and carbon dioxide gas. When we breathe out, we make carbon dioxide gas. So it makes a little bit of the air around us. Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm in fifth grade. And my question is, why do they call the foam that comes out of a volcano elephant toothpaste? I think you're talking about the awesome experiment called elephant's toothpaste, where a bunch of foam comes out of a tube. And it's called that because it looks kind of like toothpaste, but it's really, really big. That's why they call it elephant's toothpaste. Hi, my name is Michelle in fifth grade. My question is, why did you start with Generation TV? I love sharing science with kids. So I used to do school assemblies, and I went to hundreds of schools, and I made things bubble, fizz, explode, and change colors. Kids loved it, but I could only be in one school a day. But what if you can be in 10,000 schools a day? How could you do it? Through videos. And that's how the idea of Generation Genius was born. So we make videos that cover topics that you learn in school, like the water cycle or chemical changes. And we provide all kinds of other things, like Kahoot quizzes and discussion questions, to make sure you can learn these topics while you watch the videos. Or Hi, I'm Olivia in fifth grade. And my question is, how do you come up with ideas for your videos? We make videos only on topics you learn in school. For example, the water cycle or the phases of the moon. So if you don't learn in school, we do not make a video on it. Hi, I'm Lorena in fifth grade, and my question is, what type of scientist are you? I am a biochemist. A biochemist is like the middle ground between biology, which is a study of living things, and chemistry, which is a study of chemicals. And I like both of them, so the best of both worlds is called biochemistry.